Hi, my loves. Jeray Malay, girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Jocelyn's Cabaret. Um, this is episode two, um, Get Out of My House, okay? <laughs> so before I hop into my commentary, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It lets YouTube know, hey, listen, sister, we like what she's doing. She's doing her big one. It's a way to help continue to build the community. And I greatly appreciate it, period, in a point blank. So listen, Zeus gives us a recap like they always do. One thing Zeus is going to do is inform the viewer of what happened in last week's episode. And for that, I do appreciate. Um, immediately after, oh, I'm sorry, no, is it before or after? I don't really remember. And then, then we are introduced to or reintroduced to Jocelyn's um, music video, Damelo, okay, Damelo, all right, so we're doing a little Damelo over here, she's pop locking and dropping, um, elbows out, <laughs> and she's getting that feet popped, right, um, I've noticed something this time watching the music video, I saw this guy here, and I'm like, damn, is he supposed to be a ballistic, a younger version, like, what is this going on, Jocelyn, why you got this man looking so much like your husband, all oh, that, you could have just used him, don't this man look like ballistic? I know I'm not tripping. I know y'all see it. Um, so yes, boom. So we're, we're right back into the fight with Wet Wet and Andrea. So um, and pause. Let me go back to the music video. I do miss the cohesiveness, cohesiveness that Jocelyn always provides. She's gonna always give us some new music, even when the B-roll came on, and you know, we're getting ready to go back into the scene and everything. She's featuring more music, and I just love that she never um like took her artistry for a joke and she's gotten better over time like she doing better than some of the girls who out here don't have ass you know what i'm saying and i can appreciate that it, it goes along with the jocelyn's cabaret the music it makes it stand out for me a little bit right so boom while while getting swept up by andrea and um you know danny uh, or was it it was andrea it was danny danny was kind of putting wet wet in the in the little headlock she kind of had her going wild, okay, giving you the best that I got, all right? And Wet Wet is, you know, fumbling and stumbling for her life. Now, I think that her putting her in the headlock was a little bit much, but, you know, she going to ride for Andrea, and that's what it is. So, you know, Andrea and Wet Wet, they go at it again, and she's like, girl, we can fight, we can do whatever, like, da 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 let's end the third. So, um, Wet Wet and Andrea gets to fighting again. I'm like, yo, this is too much. Like, in these beautiful gowns, nice gowns, beautiful gowns, even with the gloves on her arm like this, balled up in the fist, is crazy to me. That's crazy work. But, you know, we're here. Jocelyn is just watching all of the chaos unfold. And these girls are rumbling and tumbling and on the ground, okay? Scrub the ground, okay? Shout out to uh, Carisha one time. <laughs> and so... Um, you know, Jocelyn, she don't even care. She's just watching everything happen and transpire. You know, wet ways like Shh, enough, enough is enough. I brought you here to be the house mob. You find one of my main dancers. You got to chill. You cannot go this like you need to go clean up, go clean yourself up and come back out. So when Andrea walks out after, you know, fussing and fighting and tussling with um wet wet she snatches her wig from isis who isis get into it like girl i'm not uh, i'm not wet wet i'm not wet wet this here is isis i'm not wet wet girl your wig was stinking you had that stinking wig she's like yeah but you keep walking away though you keep walking away though i'm like isis wow mommy you are a little um come off strong you a strong black woman um you know for andre i mean andre didn't have to snatch that wig now i'm i'm wrong because why would you snatch that wig like that not unless she said it was stinky beforehand i don't get it why would you hold it in the first place you get what i'm saying but um anyway so they walking off they try to get into it so she seemed kind of with it too i ain't gonna lie i said she seemed kind of with it like yeah it, 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 it could be whatever you need it to be and so the new girl starts talking to the OGs and she's like, yeah, well, I can't wait to, you know, take your spot. And Ray was like, well, I don't think you're going to be taking my spot, but you know, it is what it is. And like Neek is starting to press diamond. Um, you know, they're going back and forth. Like the beat is ensuing. 
And she's like, well, you're not going to take my spot. But, you know, I like a friendly challenge. Diamond was keeping it cute. Like, I like a friendly challenge. But them guys were trying to pounce on Diamond right then and there, to be quite honest with you. Because they was like, okay, this is what we're doing. Y'all y'all want to fight? Well, this is this must be my opportunity to show y'all what I got. Show me what you got, little mama. Okay, so they ready to go for whatever. Diamond's like, yeah, I like a little friendly competition. But the fact that y'all come in and talk about something, I love, I can't wait to take y'all spot. You could have just been like, girl, I can't wait to show y'all what I'm working with. Like, something. You get what I mean? Diamond tried to clean up cute, but them girls was not trying to hear it. They was ready to rumble. And so the girls get to get in their issue out. Did you, you need that? Because I need that. So the first people to really kind of get it kicked off is um, Isis, too. Isis said, well, listen, to uh, she said something to somebody like, well, you know, it ain't no beef. I don't want no beef. Just know that I'm going to be the dance coach. Like, OK, Isis, confidence through the roof. Um, Chinks and Lexi go go at it. So basically, she was like, "Girl, you that twenty k you you stole from me." She was like, "Yeah, me and my stole it. Me and my nigga spent your money. My man spent your money, and it's nothing. And this, that, and the third, and blase, blase." I'm like, "Oh God, we dealing with a PI situation, okay? We're dealing with a PI situation, okay?" And so she's like, "Yeah, we we spent that money, girl. You was working with my man, and it is what it is." I'm like, "Girl, y'all in the club, y'all too, like Jocelyn said, y'all a little too old to be having somebody out here managing that cooter cat, girl." You don't know how to manage it by now, but um, that's what they was referring to. They're gonna get late, get into it later in the episode. So Chase and Lexi go at it. And I'm like, whoo, goodness gracious! Remember Egypt? How Egypt was fighting real heavy and hard, and she had nobody to really kind of get with. Girl, when I tell you Chinks and Lexi got at it so easy, so quick, like it was so hard and so intense. Both of them, two big stallions. You hear what I'm saying? One one big style and another big style. One with braids, one with the locks. Like, remember how Jocelyn had told that girl Egypt she can't fight no more because she was too much of a heavy hitter? We'll never see that come out of Natalie's face, but it really should have. She's watching the fight unfold and she's literally just standing there like the bad boosh that she is. And when I tell you that Lexi Gold fight with that other girl was intense. Baby. I can't put no screenshots of the fights because I feel like when I do that, um youtube will flag it as inappropriate for people to see and we don't want that speed in which make sure you go ahead and hit that like button one time for the one time all right and so um you know she's out there she's talking to the girls and um erica minute was just looking like oh my gosh this is a lot and she was like girl let's get back on track you know that fight was for real you could tell like for real for real, that fight between them girls like they really had beef but, you know, she said, let's get to the dance and, you know, like, let's get, like, let's have fun. Like, you know, I'm not your enemy. I'm your boss. Like, I just want to be here. Let's have a good time. So they started dancing. We got some slow moves of the girls having a good time and, you know, getting into it. One girl took off her her, her clothes. The other girl started taking off their clothes. Shout out to Precious because she used to be the one last season to always get naked. And all it takes one time is for somebody to get naked, especially in those environments, girl. All it takes is for somebody to get the pottery popped off and it's already popped. Okay. Once this pussy start popping, it can't stop and so it looks like they're having a good time right you know she tells the girls if you do xyz you're going home if you do xyz you're going home at the end of the day i'm not your energy i'm not your enemy i'm your boss i like how she's coming in with that attitude she tells the girls right now all of the girls can say tonight but we're up for fifty thousand. okay we're gonna we're gonna have um you know all of these challenges and that telling the girls she was like yo y'all too talking about lexi and Ching, she was like, y'all was, that was a $50,000 fight. Y'all was really serious. She was like, I had to back up because y'all look like y'all was going to hurt me, hurt me or whatever. But um, Wet Wet was like, y'all going to hug it out or y'all going to still be because they, they didn't want to hug it out. Still instigating. And so um, Jocelyn's like, Wet Wet, shut up. Like, I got this. I don't need you. I don't need you to do that. So they have a pool party. It's cute. Slow mo, feet popping, booty shaking, boop, 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 boop. So the next day, um, Jocelyn and Ballistic, okay, uh, Ballistic <laughs> 3.0, all right, should, <laughs> he goes in and um, they are looking at the house, okay, so the house is beautiful, Ballistic just somehow or another just seems so interested, I don't know, maybe he needs a nap, um, I don't know, he just doesn't seem as interested with all of Jocelyn and her shenanigans this time around. It's like, oh my gosh, babe, look at this, I don't think they deserve it, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, you know, it was cute, Jocelyn. Um, tells her, tells Ballistic that he feels a little catfish by the Mexican girl because she was on her profile. She was all sexy, but she was kind of corny in person. She didn't really do enough. She was like, you know, it was just like she's giving me catfish or whatever the case. So as they're talking, the girls start to get on the sprinter, right? And so this was a sprinter. Now, this sprinter was huge, all right? Now, Wet West supposed to be over there being the house mom, and she over there getting it messed started. One thing about it, she need to be a producer over at one of the mother networks, because, baby, Wet West was getting it popped off. You hear me? 
And she touching on the big girl. Talking about some, yeah, girl, why you got these legs covered up, girl? Show some of these ham hocks, these big ham hocks right here, girl. Show some thigh. And now I'm looking at it right now, girl. You got this tight ass cami, these little ass uh, jeans on. You might as well have just wore a shirt at this point or something. But who knows? Like, you know, she might have been on her period or something. Sometimes you feel like, I don't feel like all this. I just want to wear some jeans and make sure this is in place. Like, I don't know. Wet webs on the sprinter getting popped off. Now, this is a sprinter, baby. This was a big sprinter. So Isis was on, on that with Andrea. She was like, yeah, so what's up? What's up? I see you. Da, da, da. And wet web was just steady being messy. And it's like, girl, go to hell. Like, why do you have so much energy for, like, Andrea? I just feel like it was unnecessary a little bit to me. It felt a little unnecessary for me because it was just like, girl... We just got on here. I don't even know you. And that's what Andre was saying. Like, I don't even know you. She was like, girl, your wig was stinking and you mad and you mad and you mad. Like, all right, yeah, I guess. So Andrea, you know, runs it with her. But I feel like when Andrea was trying to take off her bag or whatever, I feel like when Andrea was trying to take off her bag, that's when she kind of popped off. That's when she hit her. And I said, you too big to have wait until little Andrea is taking off her bag. That's all I'm going to say. So after you know andrea gets in a pink with isis <clears throat> danny presses isis like yeah well i want that because you know you're doing all this and i feel like i like how danny rides like she don't care it don't matter we both little we gonna do what we gonna do it is what it is and so danny presses isis she's like nah whatever whatever so um danny gets into it like well, what you want to do she kept walking over to her kept walking over to her and isis just popped on her boop 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 so andrea jumps in pop 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 and so all of the other girls just started jumping in, y'all. It was insane. Like, this bus ride was insane. I'm not even, like, it was, first of all, I don't know everybody's name enough, quick enough. But when I tell you, them girls was really, like, getting active on that sprinter. Like, them girls was really getting active on that sprinter. That's all I can say. And um, for Isis to be so big, I feel like she didn't do a lot of work to Andrea. But Andrea, you know, you kind of got balled, got, got balled up a little bit. You held it. But, you know, whatever it is. So, oceans out of nowhere she presses she presses me because she was like i feel like yesterday you know you wasn't being quiet when jocelyn told you to be quiet okay this is who, who she pressed he wasn't being quiet so she was like all right so what you want to do <coughs> oh uh, this is fetish <clears throat> she was like oh so what you want to do girl when i tell you ocean swallowed have you ever been swallowed girl oh she was in her box and them girls Oh, she was in there bippity boppity booping them girls. Do you hear me? And so after she didn't ocean them booped her, you know, wet wet said something about uh Lexi and Ching's like, you know, she was trying to get them started. Like, mama, relax, like relax it. And like for real, for real. Raven was like, girl, I'm not the scary type, you know, whatever the case, but them girls is too big for us to be fighting in this little space. This is ocean right here in this in the pink with her with her shoes, with her shoes off hitting the vape next to uh, um, Danny with the cowboy hat. Ocean was like really on that. So um, she's like, girl, when we get to the house, just know that it's going to be up. Just know that it's going to be up. And so then Ocean presses somebody else. I can't even remember who, but swallowed her up. I'm like, oh my God, girl. <clears throat> I love a like quick little knee. Like, Let me get you together and don't even realize that you about to be, you know, on that, on that type of time. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you feel what I'm saying? The, uh, ballistic and jocelyn are going back and back and forth like oh my gosh and i just hope they're okay and this and the third and girl when i tell you it was a royal rumble on there it was a royal rumble on that damn thing i don't even think jocelyn understood and knew exactly what was going on but they arrived to the house and they get there and she was like oh my gosh all of you ladies look really good you know i'm excited for y'all to be here um you know look at raven she looked kind of good with these boots on i ain't gonna lie um, she was like, you know, I'm excited for everybody to be here. They all go into the house. They had on their little booties. They go back out. And so um, Ocean said, you know, she speaks up and she was like, oh, well, I had to, you know, get somebody together because you kept talking so much, talking to fetish. You kept talking when the Puerto Rican princess was talking. And I like how she presented. She was like, oh, I'm just so happy to be in your present, Puerto Rican princess. This is Ocean's. Now she know how to play and pander to Jocelyn. She know her role. <laughs> she know she know what she like. And so Jocelyn was like, yeah, but she was talking a lot. Why was you talking so much? And in the meantime, you know, um, Wet Wet, what happened? Oh, Wet Wet had came in. She said, the girls look really good. Wet Wet was trying to say something and, and interject. And, and Jocelyn says, Wet Wet, you know what? You get out. You get out. You go outside the door. You close the door behind you. And so Wet Wet's like, okay, I'm outside. It is what it is. And I just feel like, girl, 
this is I already knew that wasn't going to end well. I was really going to think they was probably going to pack wet wet ass out because here's the thing: if that's supposed to be your your house bomb, your bottom girl, and you around there, she's they she got them girls on a sprinter going up, trying to make a show and you know getting it started, and you putting her outside, they're not going to respect what she has to say. But they're outside, and so at this time, Jocelyn decides to call out the BBW. She's like, "Well, what happened? You went to menopause? Why are you so hot?" She was like, "Girl, I thought you was going to be confident and sexy, girl. You really didn't even give me too much." She was like, "Oh no, I'm just chilling. You know, it is what it is. I'm from Utah, and I'm thinking like, oh, okay, girl, let's just see, let's just fucking hope." So um, Jocelyn continues on and she's like, you know, I'm just giving an opportunity for the strippers. You know, I, I used to be out here shaking any big man. Blah, 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 and y'all see where I'm at now. You know, I got an opportunity. We're going to have this party. There can be no fights at this party. She kept saying it. You know, she kept saying there's no fights at this party. So, you know, and $50,000 on the line. She was like, I want to see y'all dance. I want to see us have fun. I want to see us get, you know, get together or whatever the case may be. And so in the meantime, Miss Wet Wet is outside like, yeah, Miss Wet Wet is never thirsty. I stay wet. Woo, she going on. She's just talking to herself, rambling, because she knows that she's still being filmed. So instead of her just chilling out, taking a little moment, y'all, I don't really feel like, you know, being bothered right now. She's performing like she's hyping herself up damn near. This is Oceans telling her, like, girl, I had to get her together. And if they're like, Oceans kept it real cute. So she was like, well, I want y'all guys to go upstairs and find y'all rooms. And it is what it is. I feel like this is the classic. Everybody runs through the mansion and find their home. They all do that. The OGs are rooming close together. The girls find the room. And poor Miss Wet Wet is still outside. So the girls are looking at Wet Wet off the balcony. And I think this is what's sending Wet Wet over the top. Because I'm just trying to get these just together on the man. And now I'm outside and they're finding rooms. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can see how that's like super duper embarrassing <laughs> for Wet Wet. So she finally, as the OG is rooming together, the girls are like finding out who they want to be with. Blah, blah, blah. She finally decides to bring Wet Wet in. And Wet Wet is pissed off now at this point because you had me outside. All these girls got the rooms. I'm supposed to be the house mom. How am I supposed to do this? Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. Which, are, which are all fair like critiques, right? This is what I'm thinking that Wet Wet is thinking. Girl, Wet Wet came in hot and heavy. You told me you was going to get my teeth fixed and I have proof that you told me I have text messages. Just was so like not bothered. Like, girl, you can say them text messages. It is what it is. Girl, it's Jocelyn Hernandez. Even if you do leak them and be like, oh, she told me she was going to come through on the promises she didn't. Like, girl, it's Jocelyn. What did you expect? Whatever the case. And so she was just like, you know, oh, well, I, I made this show. I've been loyal to you, Jay. You know, that's that's corny. How you doing me? I think she really has gotten into her emotions. So she calls Andrea like, Andrea, get this away from me. Get this away from me or whatever the case. So Andrea comes out like, bro, come on. Like, just come on. Wait, wait, just leave. Just leave. Because she's being combative with Jocelyn now. Like, we know that Jocelyn's on probation. She's saying it multiple times. She can't get into it. So Andrea's like, come on, bro. Just go. Just go. Come on. Like, I don't even feel like this. Just go outside. She's like, girl, get out. You leaving now. You leaving now. So what what goes outside? She's popping. See, she been booty. She doing all this. And then, like they're in Texas somewhere. I'm gonna assume rural Texas. This is what I got to speak at. I was like this. You know what I'm saying? And so she's making a scene. You get what I'm saying? She's making a scene. And then when she goes out, gets kicked out the second time, she gets emotional. Like, I made the show. People was talking about Jocelyn's Cabaret because of me. I'm a fan favorite. I made it back on the show and I never even went on tour. I made the Cabaret. Da, 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 da. She's snapping like, because you embarrassed now, sis. You embarrassed and I get it. I, I mean, I understand. I really do. So, you know, the cops end up coming. So she's like, everybody, go upstairs in your room. Go upstairs in your room. And I'm just like, girl, why they got to go upstairs in their room? It's giving me very much. Let me see that Airbnb reservation because y'all not supposed to have them many people in there. You get what I'm saying? Like, why? Why do they all have to go into the room? So, whatever well, outside causing the scene, cops come. Boom. She outside. She crashed out so bad. Oh, wet, wet. Damn, wet, wet. Oh, you done crashed out, girl. She outside. Everybody is in so well, And I can't imagine them. And I'm just so like, wet, wet, girl. You outside talking to the police, still trying to get camera time. The producer right there trying to manage the situation. Girl, which is too much. So she goes, uh, Jocelyn comes back outside and talking to the girls. Or not back outside, but, you know, back downstairs. She says there's no fighting at the pool party. And we're going to have a good time. And it's in the third. So when she says there's no pool, like, fighting at the pool party, Lexi and Chinks decide to get it in again. And I think it was Chinks that really wanted Lexi this time. And then look like that's going to be another big ass fight. And I'm saying that as a double insider because one, they big tell and they fight hard. So um, we see that two girls in the next week's episode, two girls are going to get picked up from the pool party that might be in there um, in the running for Jocelyn's cabaret. I like that. Shake it up, Jocelyn. 
shake it up. We're going to see whatever happens to a uh, wet, wet and, and, and see how the next week's episode goes. Some of the girls are in here, you know, doing what they need to do. And some of the girls are not, you know, I want to see how the eliminations go. It looks like it's going to be the old school eliminations with the girls standing on the steps. I love that. Let's see what it actually gives. Now, I do think that, oh, wait, let me make sure you guys are watching and subscribe. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm just popping in to make sure you liking this video, girl. It is so like me to have a side conversation within a conversation, is it not? Anyway, y'all, make sure you all are subscribing to the channel because you're already here. That lets me know that you are my type of person. That lets me know that we go together right now, basically. I mean, does it not mean that? Anyway, y'all, I hope that you are enjoying the video. Let's hop back into it. Bye. All right, guys, let's get into these final thoughts, shall we? So first things first, we have Miss Wet Wet. Girl, Wet Wet, play your part, mama, and do your job. Don't let the liquor take control of your body that you don't understand that you have a role to play. Now, I do think that Jocelyn is playing on her top by saying that she's the house mom and this, that, and the third, because we all know that the house mom has a certain level of respect. And Jocelyn, you can't go around not showing that respect because she won't get it from the other ladies. You get what I'm saying? Now, she knows that Jocelyn had already shushed her the last go round. So don't come around here still talking not unless jocelyn is playing that that little game she played where she tell you one thing but she actually means something different and she makes you crash out i hate to see her crashing out so because like she said she is a fan favorite and people love her but i think that she's playing her role not in a smart way come back promote a product you know you're not going to be on the cabaret maybe you can put out a a, a supplement to keep it she wet you know what i mean wet wet um, herbal tea to get your chi right. You know what I'm saying? Some of you ladies need to start thinking outside the box. You know what I mean? Something like you about to lose your opportunity because you're getting in your emotions over Jocelyn, Jocelyn Hernandez. And I'm not saying that like she's nobody. I'm saying that you got to know who the players are so you can play your game. That's all. Oh, big mama. Um, I want to see her. I think that she she's a different BBW that we're used to. You know, Roly was the original BBW over at the Zeus Network, and she was the butt of every joke. I like to see BBWs who are like put together, you know, look good, have confidence. Like, I think that bigger women should have more representation um, outside of the camera, just in general, in life. I feel this way. This is why I always say, girl, if you big bone or you a bag of bones. I'm fucking with, like, I feel like we should all be accepting of our bodies, but it's given you can't fight. And sister, if you can't fight, that's fine. But go in there and do a little something so people can back up off you. And I'm also thinking too, like a lot of these girls look like they come from the streets. A lot of these girls look like they come from the club. Now, if she wasn't a BBW stripper, she probably was a BBW on OnlyFans. And so you work on a camera, you work with a man, you take a couple sexy flicks, you on OnlyFans, you don't really have that real life interaction and experience like that one on one because behind the camera is different than in person in the real life. So it's given like, can you handle this type of in person pressure or are you just a behind that? You just a cam girl, a BBW cam girl that can't fight. What is it given? But like she said, she BBW, she Latina, she represents a lot of boxes. Hopefully she gets it together. And Jocelyn, last but not least, this is going to do what it needs to do. You know, and I was thinking about this when I was watching it. When I watched last week's episode, I'm like, huh, is this going to be able to really compete with baddies? Because baddies has taken over. We got baddie, baddies, blunts, baddie, baddies, shout out class. Baddies is everywhere. Um, and it works because it's an ensemble. But a lot of Jocelyn's cabaret and what we like about it is Jocelyn. We like the music. We like the mispronunciations, the choreography, the footages, and the domino. We like all of these things. And so she has really made um, an experience of the Jocelyn's Cabaret, right? Even if the girls are different and this, that, and the third, we can expect a music video. We can expect ballistic. She has she has brand um, security and continuity within what she's established. And I appreciate that. We're going to get a music video. We're going to get some words mispronounced. We're going to, we're going to get these things. And this is a part of the Jocelyn's Cabaret experience. I'm here for it. This was a really good episode. I'm, I'm low key curious to see how to just dance. And that's another part, like baddies come on and like, you know, the girls look good and they got the BBWs and they got the veneers that's a second y'all going to box out their face. 
But when we come on to Jocelyn's Cabaret, like a lot of these women are really talented. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of these women have excellent, you know, talents when it comes to the poles, when it comes to dancing, when it comes to, you know, seduction. You know, that is the such thing as art of seduction, y'all, for real. And I think she does a good job at getting entertainers and performers, people who actually have a crab. Now, some of these girls come on already having the pool, you know, the poles and the skills, the dance, you know, skills. And then also they sing, they dance, they rap, they do other things. A lot of the bad just come on just sucking around on lemon pepper eggplant or, you know, being Natalie's friend, Jelly Bean, but all for nothing or just being really good at fighting, but literally all for nothing. And y'all can say that to Seggy makes music because she's boring as hell. So long story short, I'm really, really interested and curious about the season and what it's going to actually give. Um, let me know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. Are we here? Did you guys enjoy this episode? What was it giving? Let me know. Okay. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. I will see you in the next video. Peace.